Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the chat. You tuned into the Crypto Flight Edition. Fellow competitors speaking, Dogecoin appears to be finding some interesting levels of support. Uh, let's get into the details here. Loyal family, welcome back. If you're new here, consider joining us. We're going over the technical details. So if you are new, please pause this video, do your fundamental research, and then kindly stop back in as we simply go over the beautiful story behind the price action only. Um, I go, we have the same level on the chart. 20 cents uh, we're also going to go over the exponential moving average for the 12 hour and the daily so yeah just keep it simple and maybe look at the rsi so let's go ahead and uh, not waste time and dive right into the charts here shall we? all right so today's april the 23rd 2021 and the current price of dogecoin is going to be 24 cents it's down approximately 2.9 percent for the day Welcome back, everyone. ASMR, interesting analysis. So uh, let's see if we can uh, pull up the same line. Just one line, actually. Yeah, that's it. Super simple, guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the 20 cent level that we made a prediction that the market will have a uh, like a 50% correction. It actually got lower than that. Really, really interesting move to the downside. And of course, it popped back up above that 20 cent level that we said it would at least have a minimum um, as it reacted to this line right about. Okay, so we had the 50 exponential not that one sorry okay so that line right there so these are the, again the 12 hour candles right here um in our last video hopefully you guys uh let me know if you actually heard us on that last video leave like a t in an earth or a t in a cup or t in a something some be creative with it to make sure that we're all on the same page following along on this uh, dogecoin instrument uh so yeah i think we nailed that call guys it got at least above 20 cents and now it's currently at 24 cents now what we're also going to do is uh here's the levels that i'm going to leave you out with it there's literally just um 23 cents and 24 cents so i'll just put like 23 cents all the way down there okay so as long as the market can stay above the 23 cent level uh, then it's likely going to be consolidating to make its next move. Okay, um, the market needs to get back above 26 cents. Did I say 20? Okay, the lower line is 23 cents. Okay, 23 cents down here. I'll make that like a green line. If you guys take notes, 23 cents. It needs to stay above. Close 12-hour candles above. Okay, let's just say for the next 48 hours because we've been visiting Dogecoin quite often here. So for the next 48 hours. Dogecoin needs to stay above 23 cents, okay? And if it's doing that, that means that the buyers are holding the line or protecting the lower line. And the next move, will it must be 26 cents, stay above that level. And yeah, it'll likely have a fighting chance to, uh, not a fighting chance. It will like, the next practical level for it to go up to would be um, at least a minimum of uh, 35 cents, okay? But of course, again, give this price action 48 hours. Hopefully we'll stop in and give you guys an update ever so often. Uh, the lower the uh, i guess the 50 exponential moving average is currently at 18 cents i'm just kind of letting you know that, that i'm not saying it's going to get that low uh the only two levels again guys 23 cents and 26 cents that'll be the range for the next 24 to 48 hours as far out as i can see it let's put the rsi okay so the rsi is just kind of cooling off here just kind of going down uh, i think this the market just needs some sort of obviously it needs to cool off right and the rsi along with the uh, price action needs some sort of cupature formation or at least like a sideways consolidation. Maybe it'll be in between the levels we just discussed. Maybe it won't. Let's let the price action determine what's gonna happen next. Let's pull up the daily candle, see what we have here. Okay. All right, so the same thing. I mean, as far as the daily, I don't wanna leave you guys with a million levels. We're gonna keep it the same and just look at the RSI on the daily. Uh, so everything looks fair. I don't know if you guys remember when we actually went over the last video, how the RSI is, uh, it's kind of correlating exactly with the price back in uh, December, 2020, it made a high, higher, high, higher, high. If you're looking at the screen now, and, uh, as recently here, the RSI made a higher high. And I think some were thinking that since the RSI was in like the oversold territory, then it's like, um, you know, I hate saying this cliche guys, it's a pump and dump. Uh, no, that's not what it means. It just simply means just like any other, um, asset when this gets in the oversold territories above this level right here at about 70 um it just simply means it needs to cool off and find a higher low if it's in an uptrend super simple actually so if the market goes above uh, the rsi goes above like the 70 and it gets like really extended and it cools off right now it's cooling off it's below the 70 level it's perfectly fine again the only thing the price action needs to do is find a floor are we at the floor now 
I'm not sure, but you have the range that it needs to stay within in order for the price action to consolidate and move higher. It's, it's super important that when you have a very aggressive move, we've already calculated the market moved up about 440%. I think it actually went up higher than that, but let's just say 440 for now. And it needs time to cool off. Think of it like running a, in a race. Like you can't just run the race without like taking them. Maybe some of you can run a race without resting, right? But under normal circumstances, uh, the markets behave, it's, it's essentially mimicking humans behavior, right? But with your money, and I know that sounds kind of weird, guys, but the markets are kind of essentially the same thing in terms of it having a dramatic move and you just have to cool off like just you know regain your energy so that you you can make your next move in whatever direction you're gonna go in right so hopefully that's i always have like weird analogies but hopefully that you know that was a reasonable explanation so that's all i have you have the range uh the rsi is cooling off that looks fair on the daily and along with the 12 hour so yeah we'll just give you guys an update did you guys see the um on the daily just so i guess the last thing just so that we're all just kind of noteworthy uh the market did not go down to the 50 exponential moving average on the daily uh this just simply means that one of two things if there is more downwards pressure that's fine you just have to be open to that and have a strategy please if you're a part of the family that's required have a strategy um, and also, and I'm not saying I have to be rude, guys. We, I just really want everyone to be, you know, just have a strategy and, and not have to ask myself or anyone, like, what should you do after you buy in? That should be de predetermined before you enter, okay? I want everyone to be successful. I really, really do, okay? Uh, the, the daily 50 exponential moving average is at 13 cents. I'm just explaining this because um, if the market does consolidate sideways, what that means is it's likely that the exponential moving average would have time to catch up with the price and just simply goes sideways, potentially to the upside, assuming the market is holding the relative support level that we just went over, then the exponential moving average will continue to move up. But it, again, it needs time, okay? So I'm sure all of you are patiently waiting out there. You're probably buying dogecoin right now as we're speaking or i'm speaking and uh that's pretty much all i have for you guys so you have the the two levels super simple 48 hours we'll give you guys an update here uh momentarily thank you for your patience and your time and we're going to cut it out here so leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content if you found any valuable information um it really helps with the youtube algorithm it picks up on the channel and videos and also, if you're new, before you go, uh, we'd love to send you more information on traditional stocks. If, you, if you're into that, you know, we cover that seven days a week. So we'd love for you to join us here on this interesting journey. We'll send you that when it is available. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I appreciate that. We're going to talk very soon. Execute your strategies, please. And bye for now.